from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, October the 18th, 2022. Israel said it was deeply disappointed today over Australia's decision to reverse its stance on Jerusalem. Under Prime Minister Scott Morrison, Australia had recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital and had intended to move its embassy there when practical. When a new government led by Prime Minister Anthony Albanese came into power this past May, Israel was apparently told that that position would not change. However, yesterday, The Guardian reported that the Australian Department of Foreign Affairs had removed text about the recognition from its website. And later, Foreign Minister Penny Wong said the government had, in fact, decided to revert to recognizing Tel Aviv as Israel's capital. Israel summoned the Australian ambassador over the matter, and Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid criticized the decision, saying Jerusalem is the eternal and united capital of Israel, and nothing will ever change that. Well, after reports earlier today that Ukraine would formally ask Israel for air defense help, Hebrew media reported that Lapid would speak to Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba on the matter this Thursday. Israel has supplied Ukraine with defensive gear like flak jackets, but has refrained from providing military assistance. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre released a statement on the visit of Israel's President Isaac Herzog, which we reported to you about yesterday, saying that the October 26th visit underscores the enduring partnership and friendship between the United States and Israel, and saying that Biden and Herzog will consult on key issues, including regional and global challenges of mutual concern, opportunities to deepen Israel's regional integration, and ways to advance equal measures of freedom, prosperity, and security for both Israelis and Palestinians. Early this morning, Palestinian terrorists shot at two homes in the West Bank settlement of Shaked. Khan reporter Carmel Dangor tweeted that about 30 shell casings were found at the scene. The IDF said damage was detected in two houses, saying there are no casualties and that IDF forces are searching for suspects in the area. Late last night, terrorists also shot at a nearby border police post. There were no injuries there, and the IDF was searching for those suspects as well. Israeli security forces conducted search operations overnight last night in the Shoafat refugee camp, looking for the terrorist who murdered IDF soldier Sergeant Noah Lazar on October the 8th at the nearby security checkpoint. Eight Palestinian suspects suspected of helping the terrorists were arrested in last night's operation. And as the search for the terrorists who killed fellow IDF soldier Staff Sergeant Ido Baruch on October the 11th continues as well, a truly bittersweet moment for two Israelis who received the donated corneas of the slain soldier and are now able to see. Ynet cited the National Transplant Center saying that when Binyamin Goren and Aviva Ra'anan were told of the identity of their donor, they saw the excitement and sorrow on their faces at the same time. Ido's mother, Enav Baruch, told Ynet of the donation, it's basically a kind of will, a legacy of giving, of giving to another, of doing something small for someone else to make them happy. She said that was Ido, saying now part of Ido lives on in someone else. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, October the 18th. At 7 o'clock, it's a look at IDF paratroopers. At 7.20, former U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo discusses the Israel-U.S. relationship, the Israel-Palestinian conflict, and more with Benjamin Anthony. At 8, it's a replay of Recipe for Change Standing Up to Antisemitism with Idina Menzel, Ilana Glazer, and more on facing antisemitism and building allyship. 
At 9, Mark Golub sits down with actor Alan Lewis Rickman on L'Chaim. At 10, highlights from Culture Fest. And coming up next, it's Good Week, Israel. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, October the 18th, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.